The Clearstream 2 Complete from Antennas Direct has a range of up to 50 miles, giving you the ability to receive a multitude of free, high-definition local broadcast networks with expanded programming. The Clearstream 2 Complete can be installed indoors, in your attic, or outdoors, and comes with everything you see here. Today, we will focus on exterior installation. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver, an adjustable wrench, a power drill with a 3 16th drill bit, and ratcheting drivers, sized 8 and 10 millimeters. First, attach the antenna base to the center of the reflector and click securely in place. Next, place the U-bolt behind the backplate of the mast clamp and attach using the 3.5 inch bolt to the base. Thread the loop element by turning clockwise. Make sure the hole on the base is aligned with the coaxial cable port on the element loop. Secure the mast clamp using the 1 and 5 8 threaded bolt and tighten both bolts using a screwdriver. Attach the rest of the mast clamp assembly and secure loosely with wing nuts. Using the short coaxial cable provided, thread one end into the UHF in connector on the VHF dipole kit. You will then attach the VHF dipole kit onto the first and second bar on the reflector, pushing down until the kit clicks securely in place. Now, place the other end of the coaxial cable with the weather boot through the antenna base and insert into the back of the loop element. Once connected, slide the weather boot over the connection. Now, it's time to assemble the J-mount mast. Attach the J-mount mast to the mount base using the hex bolts and nuts. Visit antennapoint.com and enter your zip code. You will find a list of stations, distance, and a precise compass heading. If you don't have a compass, simply download a free app from your preferred app store to your smartphone. Before installing the antenna outdoors, it is important to test the antenna in a location that offers the clearest possible view in the direction of the broadcast towers, avoiding placement around tall trees and buildings. Mark the mast base position on your desired surface. Then, drill a 1.5 inch deep hole with a 3 16 drill bit for each mounting bolt. Next, place ceiling pads over each drill hole. Push an indentation into each of the ceiling pads so that you can see where you drilled the holes. Then, place the base on top of the ceiling pads and use a ratchet or drill to tighten the bolts. Before installing your antenna, make sure the mast is adjusted so that it is vertical. Slide the antenna over the top of the mast and tighten loosely into place. Raise the dipoles and place the mount base end cap on the J-mount mast. Connect one end of the 30-foot coaxial cable to the UHF-VHF connector on the dipole kit and the other end into your television. Then, on your television, make sure that your input is set to antenna or air, and then scan for channels. If you are not receiving signals for the available channels, you may need to reposition your antenna and rescan. And that's it. You are now ready to receive free over-the-air television with unsurpassed quality compared to cable or satellite. If you have any questions, please call our helpline at 1-877-825-5572 and we will be happy to assist you.